I get sent a lot of gear and some of the gear is better than others, but I try to only accept gear that can actually help me in my video creation process. So in 2024, I'm making a point to say no to a lot of the product reviews that I do on this channel and really only talk about the products that I'll actually be using to create these videos. So today we're gonna be talking about three pieces of filmmaking gear that don't suck and I think are actually worth the money. So all these products were sent to me by the companies that make them and I do wanna point out that they sent them to me like months ago and they haven't really hounded me for a video. So I think that says a lot about the company. They actually let me get to know the pieces of gear before I just rush out and make a review. They're not paying me at all and they have absolutely no say in the contents of this video. So all of these opinions are gonna be my own. So if you've watched any of my more recent videos, you'll know that a lot of them were very heavily reliant on voiceovers. And for those videos, I really wanted to challenge myself to use a mic that I wouldn't typically use. And that mic is the Comica VM30. So I've been using Comica products for over seven years now, and they were actually one of the first companies to ever reach out to me for a product review. And I still use this little Comica VM10 Mark II as my go-to on-camera microphone when I just need something small and lightweight. But all the audio that you're gonna be hearing in this video is gonna be coming through the new Comica VM30. So this microphone has a lot of really cool features, but there's a few that really stick out to me. So the biggest feature of this VM30 is that it's a wireless shotgun microphone. So this shotgun mic actually transmits a signal wirelessly to a receiver, just like a Rode Wireless Go would, but it does it with a shotgun mic instead. So you're getting a really nice shotgun sound, but you're not having to deal with any wires going from the mic directly to your camera. So this mic would be great for doing interviews where the subject is far away from the camera and you don't wanna run a cable all the way to the camera or audio recorder. And even for talking head YouTube stuff like this, it's a lot better than having one of those like wireless transmitters and then talking right into it because those are typically omnidirectional microphones, whereas this Comica VM30 has more of a directional pickup pattern. So you'll see that as I turn the microphone away from me, it's gonna be rejecting a lot of the off-axis sounds, but then you bring it back and it's gonna be nice and crispy. So during the filming of this video, I actually cranked down on the shock mount a little bit too hard and broke the cold shoe attachment. So that could just be a problem with the review unit that I got, but although I do have a lot of confidence in the performance of this mic, the build quality of the shock mount not great. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind if you're going to get this microphone is just be a little bit more careful than I was with this shock mount or just plan on getting a better one. This microphone also has a safety track feature, which will essentially record one channel at a higher volume and the other at a lower. So if your audio is clipping or maybe it's just not loud enough, you can always choose between the left or the right channel. Couple that with a low pass filter from 75 to 150 and a stepless gain knob on the back of the mic, as well as a gain adjustment on the receiver itself. You can really dial in your audio with this microphone and it makes it really appealing for professional video work. So another pretty cool use of this VM30 is that it can be used as a USB mic, which is pretty cool. I have it plugged into my laptop right now and I'm gonna sync this audio later in post. So that's really sweet because you can use this as a USB mic for voiceovers or maybe some Zoom calls, but also you can put it right onto your camera. You can use it as a wireless shotgun microphone. So there's just a lot of uses for this VM30. So one of the most boring things you could ever talk about in the filmmaking gear space is a tripod. So I'm gonna make this really brief. This is a small rig free blazer aluminum tripod. It can hold up to 17 pounds, which is way heavier than anything that I'll put on it. And it uses a design where you only have to unlock three of the flip lock legs to raise or lower the height. It's got a 75 millimeter bull mount on it, which I really like because you don't have to worry about getting the legs perfectly level. The tripod head is really smooth and it accepts a very standard Manfrotto QR plate, which I really like. This is definitely not the tripod you're gonna wanna be bringing when you're hiking out to a location. I typically use the smaller end of small rig tripods for my work, but when I need something with a little bit more stability and a much higher payload capacity, I'll always reach for this small rig free blazer. The only thing that you should note that it doesn't have is a dampening adjustment, so you can't adjust how fast or slow it pans or tilts.
Lensgo recently sent me a few of their mini fog machines, and I gotta say, these things are freaking cool. My buddy Jake and I did some product shots where we tried to utilize how small these foggers were, and we got some pretty cool looking shots. The model that I probably love the most is the Mini Smoke B, which includes a fogger, but also a mini fan, which you can disperse the fog and really haze up a room. It also comes with a little remote, which allows you to wirelessly control how much fog you need in a scene. In the past, I've tried using aerosol cans to get some haze in my shot, but these Lensgo mini foggers, especially the mini Smoke B, are just so much easier to haze up a room and just add that little extra touch to make your shot look that much better. I use the mini Smoke B to haze up a lot of the shots in this video, and you can tell that it just makes the entire scene nice and soft. So some of you may not know this, but I actually do have a Patreon page, which I post a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, lighting and color grading tutorials, as well as give all of my supporters my $5 LUTs for free. So all of these fine people have been supporting me on Patreon and they truly help support this channel and help make videos like this possible. So if you'd like to join them, I'll have a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Big thanks to all my current Patreon supporters. I really appreciate you. So for me, I definitely want to be a little bit more intentional with the gear reviews that I post on this channel. This tripod I'm using right now, the mic that I'm talking into, and the mini smoke machine are actually pieces of gear that I've been using in my video throughout the past few months. And these are things that I can talk about a lot more naturally because I have a lot of real world experience with them. So anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this little three part roundup of the pieces of gear that I've been using to make YouTube videos recently. Big shout out to Comica for sending me the VM30, small rig for this free blazer tripod and lens go for the awesome little smoke machines. I'm gonna have links to all the pieces of gear that I talked about in the description below. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch y'all next time. Later.